good afternoon. Welcome to the WXNY Sports Show. With, I'm here with my two colleagues, Jared Lamberg and Amon Jane. Today we'll be talking about the new deals these commissioners are giving out to the NBA players. What, Jared, what do you think about the Kevin Durant tra- contract and him leaving Oklahoma City? Uh, in my opinion, honestly, Kevin Durant moving uh, to Golden State, the team that he was up 3-1, to one, it's a very weak move because Kevin Durant is the premier player of the Oklahoma City Thunder. His team is up 3-1. to one. The ball is mainly in his hands, and he can lead his team to the NBA Finals, which is a very weak move, and he doesn't have the heart to win as a champion. So I'm very disappointed in Kevin Durant. What do you think, Amon? Uh, I have to agree. I think it's a pretty cheap move. I mean, I, I would consider it cheating to get to a championship. I mean, Oklahoma City, with him there, they would be a pretty good team this next season, but I think he I think he couldn't wait for another championship, so he decided to take the easy way out and go to Golden State. I'd have to disagree with both of you guys. I feel like if you can't beat them, you join them. And I don't blame Kevin Durant for leaving because he's not getting any younger. The older you get, the slower you play. So he'd leave. They're giving him a max contract. Oklahoma City is a low franchise. You know, they didn't have the money they wanted to pay him. Westbrook is there. I mean, you know, he's happy at home. It's like high school, but it's time to, like, get serious. He's not getting any younger. And he went to a team where he could win. I mean, like, they're going to have to, like, make chemistry in the first couple of seasons. But they're gonna they're gonna make history. I think they're gonna be something big. What what do you think about Mike Conley and him getting the highest paid contract in NBA history? Like, do you think he deserve it? Mike Conley is a very good player, but don't get me wrong. But there's some players, especially him, that don't deserve as much money as Mike Conley. Also, Mike Conley, he went to a team that it's not gonna really help him at all. It might not even make the playoffs. So Mike Conley make better decisions. All I'd say. What do you think, Amon? I have one thing to say is that never been an all-star. Mike Conley has never been an all-star, and he's always been part of a team that's been middle of the pack for the past for like three or four years. And I think the fact that the Grizzlies have given a max contract and the biggest deal in NBA his- history is a little ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, I think I think if the owner of that team thinks that he deserves a max contract and they have the money to give it to him, they give it to him. Because think about it, Mike Conley is a point guard. Without a point guard on the team, there's not much you can do. You need somebody who's going to bring the ball to the court, set the plays. And they have Marcus Gasol and Zach Randolph. They have little weapons over there. And when they're healthy, they could do a big run in the playoffs. Maybe he might not deserve that much money, but he goes out every night and plays for the city and plays for, for the, the team, and he deserves it. Like, he has to pay bills. He has to take care of his kids just like everyone else. You might not think that, but the way he puts his heart and sweat on the court every night, and they just give him the money he deserves. I think we have a caller coming in. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello? <laughs> it's Dan. Uh, just wanted to ask you guys, you guys are talking about the Kevin Durant signing with Golden State. Yes, we are, sir. What's that mean to Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City? you think he's going to get traded somewhere like New York, L.A.? Like, what do you think? No, I, I think that Westbrook would just have to play out the 2015, 2016 year and just, just play it out and leave. If he decides to leave the franchise, but it's his team now. He's the captain. He he. It's up to him if he want to leave. But I feel like that franchise needs somebody. If he leaves, they're just gonna be like another Philadelphia rebuilding year. Or Lakers when Kobe leaves. But it's up to him. Kevin Durant made his decision to leave him. And if, if I know Russell Westbrook doesn't want everybody to think he's a traitor, so he has to do what he has to do. What do you think? Uh, it's very interesting that he asked that question because Russell Westbrook did say that there's no chance he's staying in OKC after all the trades. Uh, OKC is starting to rebuild now, getting out uh, Oladipo and Sabonis, and now uh, Russell Westbrook is here, maybe should be the leader and stay, but with Russell Westbrook saying that there's no chance of him staying, no one knows where he's going to go now, but maybe he'll try and be in the MVP winnings. I mean, I think Russell Westbrook knows that he deserves a max contract, and he knows he's an M- MVP caliber player, and he knows that he can do much better than Oklahoma City, so I think he's going to demand the trade, or... He's going to play out the season and go somewhere else. I don't think he's going to stay with Oklahoma City because he knows he deserves better and Oklahoma City knows that they can't give him what he needs. But I feel like he's saying that now, but let's see how the season progresses. He might start winning games, he might want to stay. The team might click, like it might. the offense might gel. I mean, he does deserve a max contract, but the type of player Westbrook is, he's not like an original point guard. He's like an explosive guard. So he has to fit into that type of play style. Like, he can't just go anywhere because, you know, if other teammates might like might not like him putting up 40 shots a game. But that's it from WXNY Sports. I'm here with Jared Lambert and Amon Jane. And you have a nice night now.